So this is about um, four crayons worth um, that I shaved up, and I'm just going to put it in a tray in a little bit of aluminum foil. Use this in to make a funnel. That way I can pour it straight into the mold. Uh, so to prep your mold, um, you might want to spray it with some vegetable oil. And I'm going to move this clamp out of the way. When I use this, I'm going to have it on low as possible and just carefully melt it in and just pour it in. And I'm going to see if I can get like a two-colored crayon with this and just go from there. So always wear gloves when you do this. So I just uh, spent a few minutes uh, melting a bunch of crayon bits over uh, the flame very carefully. Um, with the propane torch, that may, might be a bit too hot. So I had to hold it really high up to pour it, but I couldn't fill it and do it and pour it at the same time. So I'm going to let this cool for probably about an hour. And the mold is printed in PLA. So it's a little bit toasty on the sides, but that's fine. Um, and I'm going to let it so slowly cool down. And I just used a spare straw to kind of scrape the top, get that nice and flat. Um, when it contracts, it's actually going to pull in a little bit. And so I ended up uh, filling a little bit of the gap here in the first crown of cast. So I made this mold to cast six, um, but it's currently taking about half a dozen crayons per one crayon. So this is about as tall as a regular crayon, but it's definitely a lot larger. Um, so I'm going to have to see how much it would take to actually pour in a whole mold's worth, because I like these because they don't roll. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, here's my first two experiments. Um, this is the brown crown that's, you can see there's like two shades of brown in it. Uh, this is like the cyan, orangish, and pink crayons. Um, still a little tender in the center after about half an hour. So, you probably want to let this set a little longer. Um, just because it is a bigger crayon and the plastic does insulate it. So I'll probably end up recasting this um, and maybe going through and seeing if I could do a whole mold for it. Um, definitely make sure to spray this with some like vegetable oil just to help release, which I think was part of the problem. Um, the other part is just the cooling. It looks like it cooled unevenly. Um, so using the aluminum foil probably wasn't the best method to do this. Um, I've seen others where they use like plastic, um, metal condiment cups in a torch. So I'm actually going to try that next. And I'm probably just going to go through this whole thing, see if I could fill it, let it cool for a couple hours in the garage. Because um, this does get some s smoke if you heat it up just a little too much. So this one looks like it's come out good. Um, but this is cooled for probably about an hour now. Um, and when I say this is still a little gooey, like if you feel some of the bits in here, um, I know when I poured it, there were some flakes that didn't quite get melted, so that probably created a lot of gaps. So you really want it to be as liquid as possible when it goes in. Yeah. So, first attempt casting A, F. And just use a C clamp to hold the mold together. But uh, yeah, I'll redo this in the garage and see how it goes. So after uh, melting a bunch of crayons and uh, these, there are uh, metal condiment cups. Um, found them at the dollar store. Um, they're steel, so you could definitely melt things in them. Um, so I melted them all, poured them in. Now as the uh, wax shrinks, or wax cools, it will contract, and in the mold it'll leave these little holes. So I've actually poured in little bits of other colors into them. And it's still contracting right now, so I'm probably going to leave that be. And this last one was all blue, but um, ran out of blue, so it just kind of got shrunk in. Um, so I'm going to let this cool for a couple hours in the garage. And then uh, while it was still warm, I took a box knife and just um, cleaned off the top so that way it's ready to pull when it's done. Um, but yeah, this is six candle, six crayons. And right now it's still a little warm to the touch, so I'm going to let it cool off completely. And it should be easy to pull from the mold at that time. And I did spray the inside with um, 
uh, vegetable spray as well, so that should definitely help. So my next experiment, I'm going to see if I can make two color crayons. Uh, so I already poured half mold, and I'm going to put this one on top, and I'm going to pour it into the space in between, and uh, let it see if I could get two colors with this. Okay, so here's the results of the two-sided experiment. So... This one ended up being three colors. I just ran out of green, so I had to cap it off real quick. Let's see more green, red. Red, yellow. And purple, red. So, yeah, you could do two color casts with this as well. And so usually with this, you just have to do a little bit of cleanup, uh, remove the flash around the edge. But, have some fun with those. So my first molds went okay, but uh, I found out because of the thin space between them, they let in some air and some bubbles, so that actually caused a lot of crayons to fail. Uh, so they would break, and I could tell where they broke right in the middle because they would... Um, I would be able to pour like half of a crayon at a time and it would cool too quickly and break. So I did two things. First I did revise my mold. Uh, this is printed in uh, Ninja Tech Armadillo. So it's a very stiff, slightly flexible filament. It also has a higher melting temperature. Uh, that way I could go above the melting temperature of the wax which I found out was about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and this goes up to 200. I'll have to do the conversion later. But um, this goes higher than the melting temperature of the crayon, so it won't get flexible or bendy till that point. The second thing I did is actually while I was pouring, I poured about half a mold full, put a solid crayon in the center, centered it, and then uh, poured the rest of the wax in. And this does a couple things. First, it provides some strength going through the crayon. Also, um, it prevents bubbles from forming in the center and so the wax kind of forms around this as, as well as the inside of the mold and don't be afraid to pour a little extra wax over the top because um, I saw a video on how they uh, make crayons they actually leave a layer of wax on top of the mold when they're pouring that way when the wax contracts it actually sucks the wax in from the top so I put a little extra over the top and as this is cooling it's going to suck in that extra wax and hopefully not leave any cavities. So here's the first batch I made with this. And you can see some lines where I was at, where I poured and it cooled quickly. Still got maybe one or two little bubbles, but that's fine. Um, but putting the crayon through the center definitely helps give it some extra strength. Um, and it, it just helps form it and makes everything keeps the bubbles, gives the bubbles something to bind to and raise the top. So, um, so this is probably going to be like version two, of, this is going to be version two of the mold. Yeah, and it's working a lot better than version one. It is only four crayons, but doing six crayons took like an hour to do, and I could do four crayons in about ten minutes. Um, you can see here the wax cooling off. Um, these are stainless steel condiment cups. Just got them at, I think, Walmart or some other store. Um, but heat that over a blowtorch. Just a, This is just to get started and you can see I'm using some other condom cups and I have one for each color. Also you can recycle your broken crayons. So this is overall with a little refinement, uh, especially with the new mold design, that seems to be working a lot better. Um, this still takes uh, about 12, a dozen crayons, a dozen large jumbo crayons, like this size jumbo compared to the regular ones. Um, this is going better, so I'm going to use this mold instead and maybe print up another one. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to make a few more batches just in plain color. I think I'll save this 
bigger mold to make weird and split colors. But, uh, yeah. Uh, mold I'll po post not in Thingiverse. Um, I'll go ahead and put it on my mini factory. And uh, go from there. Thank you.